Abraham Lincoln was the 16th President of the United States. Lincoln was born on February 12, 1809. He then served a single term as the U.S. House of Representatives from 1847 to 1849. And in 1856, Lincoln joined the Republican Party. Lincoln went in the election for presidency and won the election. Abraham Lincoln was assassinated April 14, 1865 by an actor named John Wilkes Booth. The Gettysburg Address. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation, or any nation so conceived and so dedicated, can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men living and dead who struggled here have consecrated it, far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living, rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom, that the government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Fervently do we hope that this mighty scourge of war may speedily pass away. Yet, if God wills that it continue until every drop of blood drawn with the lash shall be paid by another drawn with the sword, so still it must be said, the judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. Abraham Lincoln, Second Inaugural Address. Lincoln was proud of his speech and anxious to hear the opinion of the black leader, Frederick Douglass. There's a, a wonderful story of Douglas coming into the White House after the second inaugural. A huge crowd is standing, shaking Lincoln's hand. And Lincoln calls out across the room, there's my friend, Douglas. Douglas, come here. Douglas walked across this crowded room. And Lincoln says to Douglas, what did you think of my inaugural address? There's no man's opinion that I admire more than yours. And Douglas says, it was a sacred effort. And Lincoln says, thank you. The second inaugural address. Delivered on March 4th, 1865, during the end of the war. Abraham was seeking unity because of the Civil War. This is a map of the Civil War because the Civil War was happening during the presidency of Abraham Lincoln. 